So while he was kicking at the roof to get a hole in it so we could climb on top of it, I actually fell through the sheetrock, went back underwater, and actually was able to compose myself, push back through the same hole, get back into the attic, never ever having a chance to even think about what had happened to me. We basically, I got him to the top of the roof, he reached for my three grandkids, then he reached for my mother, and my cousin Hyman couldn't actually get himself together to go through that hole, so we decided it would be best to pull him through it. And while we are being pulled, pulling him through it, the water is still rising. The water is, looks like we're in the middle of Lake Pontchartrain. The house on the left of us hit our house. The house on the right hit our house and just pushed our house into the middle of the street. And it acted like a current and it pushed us all the way up the street. So our house began floating up this way toward the red light and that's where it actually landed up the street. And this is what I was on top of the roof. This was 25 feet of water. It looked like every rooftop was covered. And we had neighbors that were here. We had neighbors that were stuck in their houses. But while we were on the rooftop, our only concern was our general family. And while we were floating, we could see the roofs, we could see the trees, we could see and hear other houses raising up. And it just pushed into the trees and actually broke up. And our house, literally was going to look like it was going to hit that branch that's in the middle of the tree up in the distance and it moved to the side and it continued its path up the street so it actually wound up by 1617 Tennessee Street it began to break up underneath our feet and the first thing I did once uh, it began to break up I took my granddaughter Sinead off the roof of our house turned around and put her on the roof at 1617 Tennessee Street turned around and when I turned back around, she was gone. She'd actually slipped off the roof, was washed away in 25 feet of water. I grabbed her sister, Shemaya, I mean Shania, and put Shania on the roof. And Shania, when I turned my back to grit the other baby, which was Shanae, I mean, which was Muffin, or Shemaya, uh, Shania had jumped in the water to try to save her sister. This was a child who had never swam the day in her life, jumped in 25 feet of water. She swam across the front of the house, down the side of the house to a truck, and that allowed us to get out of the water. My mother was being held up by my brother Jonathan. We literally uh, had to make our way to a truck, get on the motor, get on the cab, then get on the back of it. Now we think we're safe, but then the water is still rising and the truck which was level actually started to teeter up into the air and go like that so we had to get off of the truck but we didn't have anywhere to go but fortunately the water made the house that we landed move closer to the truck and we were able to step off it in stepping off of it I went first he reached me Shemaya he reached me Shania and then we reached Harmon Harmon was afraid to step and he literally fell into the water. We were able to grab his hands. The current grabbed him the first time. The current grabbed him the second time. We were able to pull him up and put him onto the roof of the house.